Oh, and we never get to see Boob World. I no. Really see. I really wanted to see Boob World. Let's start there, I man. I think, yeah, has this been referenced before with uh, Rick and Morty? I don't know. Probably, maybe. I think it has been. Well, at least Morty's <laughs> obsession with boobs, right, has been referenced. Yes, he does like boobs. <laughs> normal, normal for a teenage boy. I also, when I was a teenager, loved boobs and still do. Well, not they... to the same extent, though. Well, Morty's on another level. Okay, he's very yeah, look deprived. Look at his face right now. <laughs> he's ready to go, right? So oh, th- yeah. <laughs> this episode was Gortron Jerry's Rick Vangelicon. Yeah, the names for these episodes are fucking. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, they're named after things. There's yeah. different other shows and movies. So, here we go. We're off. We're fucking off. You think and they're we- going somewhere, and they send you somewhere else. Which is classic Rick and Morty. At the very start of the episode, you're like, oh, cool, we're going to see this this episode. Oh, wait, nope, curveball, completely just something different. But uh, that's kind of cool. So, now we're collecting, like, these... Ferrets. Yeah, mechanical ferrets. Mm. And as soon as I saw this, do you remember how in the intro they show them in the suits? I already knew that it was going to be that episode. Yeah, yeah, good good call, good call. Mm. Uh, so very Power Rangers is. Yes, exactly. Like very ode to Power Rangers. And you know, the reality is a lot of people aren't going to even know about Power Rangers. Like people born in like 2000 onwards. Oh yeah, s- true. No, I watched the fuck out of that shit. Same, well, but some of our listeners won't know. Mm. So... You see, they're coming in <laughs> Power Ranger style. I love how Summer gets a bit more of a shine in this episode as well. It was a and it was it was a really good episode for Summer. I really enjoy her character. Like the her growth is great. Yeah, they're definitely giving these different characters a different light, a different mm. uh, uh, screen time priority. Hundred. So, what did you overall think about this episode? I I enjoyed it, but I didn't enjoy... I, I just think it could have been done better. What do you like, mean? Don't get me wrong. I still think it's a good episode. And I really enjoyed, um, especially, uh, like I said, for, summer, for Summer's uh, development. But I don't know. I felt like... I don't know. I felt like it could have, they could have flushed it out more. Well... Although I do like the bugs. Uh, yeah, the, the, the plot twist at the end with the uh, the monsters was really <laughs> good. Understand. That was so good. Okay, that was genius. That was genius. Because they're all trying to save humanity. Yeah. But with with the most good language. With the most basic homemade <laughs> recipe. Oh, the poor bugs. And then they don't have any clothes. <laughs> so yeah, at this point, I'm like, okay, they're doing a Power Rangers thing. Okay, cool. And it really... We begin to see how consistent, like this, this right here. All right, cool. You guys, if you guys know what Power Rangers are, just go look them up. You'll see exactly. Or very Vol- Voltron-ish. Voltron. I remember Voltron. I think it was a bit before Power Rangers. Voltron. It's like you got to collect all the things to, because that's. I think Power Rangers was kind of a take on Voltron. I could be wrong there. Well, now we see like Rick is really at the center of this. Like Rick is driving this episode. In ways that he didn't so much in previous episodes. Yeah. Like, you can tell that is a... What's the word? I can't think of it. Well, typically we see, like, Morty and Rick on the same page. But we don't here. We see almost Summer kind of replace him. Yeah, well, Summer sees the opportunity to and she leaps at it because she doesn't like to be left out. You can see that in this episode. She always feels left out of their adventures. Like, she wants the same connection with Rick that, that Morty does. And you can see how that plays into the demise of this episode when Rick gets so drunk off his own, once again, his own, like, uh, control. <coughs> mm. Want for control. They're getting... Oh, this is... I like this. So Look at the, look at the boobs on that motherfucker. Wait, yeah. are they like boob, feet, blobs? I don't know. <laughs> like, that's great. They look like little udders. Well, that's right, because they get a whole bunch of other ones because they want to have the robots, five robots, form the even bigger robots. Like, Rick just wants to keep going further and further with it. There's just no end to it. Right, which is very, like, power-hungry Rick, right? More, more, more. And this is how some people are in life. They always want more. I really like these Ricks. Yeah, hothead Rick. And then this guy. 
you see each one is kind of a representation of a different movie or television character, like mm. The Godfather. I'm guessing Scarface, maybe. I haven't watched too many gangster movies, to be honest with you. Yeah, that might be a good one. And so... Then they bring in this... Yo-Yo Rick. <laughs> this uh, stupid-ass Rick. But it's, you know, it's nice to see the family bonding. Like, you can tell they, they really do enjoy it. They Like, it's a good... Like, because they never really spend quality family time together, but they all really enjoy this, so they're actually... You know, it's good to see, but of course, you can just see it spiraling out of control because Rick just wants to keep taking it further. And Morty realizes this from the beginning. Morty tries to stop it, but then Summer turns him down. And Summer basically, because Summer's smart. We know that Summer's character is smart. She takes after Rick and his and mum because um, cause Beth is smart as fuck as well. So she twists her words so that everyone, everyone would continue to do this. Right. She manipulates others manipulates. in the way that Rick does as well. And even Beth does. Right. So, you know, there's a bit of something here to be said about, you know, craving the attention for uh, maybe the un- your unloved parents, the parents who have never loved you or the-, the colleagues or peers who have never really cared for you and looked out for you. And it's mm. like you finally get their attention and you're hooked on it like a drug. Yeah. And I don't know if you've ever experienced it before. Maybe you've, you've had a crush on someone or maybe you just had a really good friendship with someone or maybe there's a family member that you've always wanted to be close to and then once you kind of get that you can definitely you can definitely you can feel like something you want to latch onto more because it's a really good feeling you think we get a bit addicted to that feeling of what attention definitely well not everybody but definitely a lot of people we haven't seen rick drunk in a while we'll give him that yeah it's, it's very true we haven't seen him like drunk drunk in a while so here we see the original Power Rangers, and they've done some real like uh, very anime. anime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because after go. every sentence, they make like a noise or a squeal. Like, yeah, that's pretty. Yeah. Now I don't watch anime, so I like that's obviously very relevant. Like, that's what they do. Why do they do that? <laughs> I don't know. It's just anime, man. They just love to make noises. Love to just over the top. Uh, just over the top. Uh, the way you say things, but it just makes it so much more interesting. That's why if you ever watch anime, never watch English dubs. Always watch the subs, man. Unless you know you, you know Japanese, but but then you don't need any English dubs. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, yeah. It's just always better with um with um with Japanese uh, voice actors because they just display so much more, man. They're just so over the top that it just draws you in. <laughs> I love this, and then Summer fires them both, but then Rick fires her. Yeah, then she realizes. It's like when you realize, uh, what is it? That the person is just using you. Mm. Like, perhaps Rick was just using Summer for her advantage to doing what he wanted. Yeah, he definitely was. And Summer, I think Summer always realized that, but she was just hoping there'd be a part of him which would... Yes. You know? Is authentic. Yeah, exactly. And then I think there was a bit, but in the end, obviously it wasn't. So she, you know, she feels terrible. And this bit here is really beautiful. I actually love how much she just breaks down and is honest with them. Like, you know, it's just something that a lot of teenagers, I feel, struggle to do. Or if they do do it, they just don't get the proper response to it. However, though, uh, what was it? Like, from Morty's perspective, like... They were being manipulative and power hungry and just what are, what else would you describe the behavior as like immoral like there's and then she makes a realization. Oh, that's right. This the secret of the baby from space, which you you called. You said they were going to bring it back, didn't you? I did. Oh, yes, this is when they bring back, yes, like you said, the incest baby. Okay. Um, as you guys recall, I did actually create a giant incest baby, which the government did launch into space. And I'm not sure how to tell you this, but it's still alive and I've been in contact with it. I think it's brilliant. This is one of my favorite parts of the episode. Oh, yeah. This part is great. I love how they brought it back, especially when a lot of the fans hated this part of the other episode. Right? So they just... I was just like, I was like, come on, they've done worse things. Like, what the fuck, man? People just start riding that shit. 
And so I wonder how they would feel to bring it back as kind of a reminder of their least favorite moment. I loved it. This is ridiculous. It just goes silly. to show how much they don't give a fuck. They just, they, yeah, exactly. It's just silly. They're just doing what they want. So it was a giant, tortured, government-trained, rogue, incest, incest monster baby is out there in space. Plus signs for teeth. <laughs> you know, classic anime. And so this is when Rick is so hungry for more. More, more, more. Mm -hmm. He gets betrayed by people that he didn't vet because he couldn't see. Because that's what happens when you always want more power. More power. And bigger and better. Hey, brother, look who's, look who's come to join the review. Oh, guess who? Check it out, ladies and gentlemen. We have the one and only... Mortimus Prime. Introduce him. That's Look my at. homie. He's uh, eight years old and he's my best friend. What's up, bro? Now, for those just listening, we are looking at Dave Gray's cat, <laughs> whose name is Morty. All right, we can keep going. Now, continuing on to the real Rick and Morty. <laughs> this is great. Okay, have you seen that scene? Say hello to my little friend, Scarface. Say hello to my little friend. But no, I actually haven't seen Scarface. But you know that you know that scene. I know though. the scene, yeah. But I love how this gun goes bang, 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 bang. <laughs> I think this is kind of a version of it. Oh yeah, I think so too. And, you call me and then they say guys? the giant incest baby wearing American underpants. <laughs> so they wanted to make it into a weapon, that's right. Weapon yeah, that's one. Right. But and she freed it because she wanted to teach it to love. She didn't want to make her child a weapon. You know, she felt she felt sympathy for it. This is a weird looking baby. Oh, it's an incest baby, so the odds of it looking weird are pretty high. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only appropriate response to that comment. <laughs> no shit. Like if we've learned anything from humanity, <clears throat> you know, as much as you might want to do that fucked up shit, don't. <laughs> yeah, well, you're going to cause a cascade of genetic abnormalities oh, yeah. that are going to really impact it. Maybe look something like oh, that. But it would have been so common in, like, just the old days, you know? Like if, yeah, like it's... Game of Thrones type days. I know it's not real. Yeah. but I'm glad we're at the level now of humanity where, you know, people are, you know, cross, cross, you know, cross falling we're... in love and fucking. And, and we're very mixed. Like, we've never been yeah. more mixed where people, like, are, are, are breeding with people, like, the mm. opposite to them. And the more the world grows, the more we're all going to kind of look the same because we're going to be mixing so much. Wait, we won't look the same if we're mixing so much. Oh, well, I mean, like, we obviously we'll still look different, but, like, I feel like our skin color will more look the same because if we're all over time, you know, keep fucking with different people, then eventually we're all going to be looking very similar. But if they're different people, how would we look similar if there's so much diversity and variability? Well, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying, like, if all diverse people over a period of thousands of years keep fucking other people, then eventually we're all going to start to look the same. Think about it. I can't make that connection. It, it seems to me that more variability, more diversity. Like say, say black, white, Asian, brown. Yeah, yeah. With different people. Say it gets to a stage, because I think it will get to a stage where to have sex with someone of your own color or culture will, will be looked at as, as, as a... Like taboo. As a weird, as a weird, not taboo, but just as a weird thing. I think it will make, you know, people will just... I think we're going to get to a stage where you, we'll be very open to other cultures and we'll seek being around other cultures and... I can see us getting to a stage thousands of years later. I'm calling it. We'll go back to this thousands of years later. And I honestly think that we're going to get to a stage of humanity if yeah. we survive that long where we're all going to definitely start looking very... I think because the population, Indian and Asian, is probably the most highest population right now. So if they thrive and survive, I think we're all going to get to a stage where we're going to look very similar to them but still have elements of other okay. species as well. Now I see what you're saying. So yeah. based on like the majority populace being those ethnicities... Yeah the other smaller populations would be weeded out eventually. Yeah, I think so. I think they'll still be present in our DNA, but eventually they will be overridden by the more popular ones or populous ones. But that's just me. That's just that's just how I see the future. Yeah, man. Uh, I was going to say we'll see, but maybe we probably won't. <laughs> I don't think we will, bro. <laughs> you know. But anyways, back the to... The same Futurama. Not yet. Love that show. All right, so giant incest um, baby's out. He destroyed this Power Ranger thing. Oh yeah, he fucked it up, man. Because he's so much bigger, right? It's nothing. So much bigger. 
Incest baby, nicely done. I got Rick so proud of him. Like, obviously, Rick realized he was in too deep. He's happy his family's there for him, and he's happy he's there for them in like a comedic way. Because if Rick likes anything, he loves fucking weird comedic shit that just shouldn't exist. Like, he just loves doing the impossible and laughs at it because he's powerful and he can do that shit. So, he's, I think he's just happy that his family is doing shit similar to what he would do. And that's why they're family. Yeah, because usually, the, this, this is, I don't remember the, the time where the, the the family would go together as a collective to do something. Yeah. All agreeing uh, together. You good? Yeah, yeah, sorry. I was just rearranging. All oh, right, and here's the consequence to it. Um, the giant space bugs are killing millions of people, just as a, as a little aside note. Yep. Because there's no go... <laughs> There's no there go to fight them. <laughs> like, that was the ultimate purpose uh, of them. Oh my god, it's so dumb. <laughs> and you love how Jerry's just out here by himself, classic. Oh, and then just this random kind of... Because that's what... Oh, we didn't mention it. There was the voiceovers, right? Which they've never yeah. done before. Yeah, exactly. Which I thought... I didn't really like the voiceovers. I thought it was... I don't know. I, 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 I don't know. I felt it was weird rick and morty but then i like how they did this like this made sense as soon as this happened i was like okay you doing the voiceovers make sense because you're taking the piss with it look uh, i encourage um like diversity like uh, yeah i do as well change it up but you know th they're probably not going to stick with something like that they'll probably say it once and then that's it <laughs> or use it once yeah well i think that's what this was and that's why they brought these bugs out because it was kind of just saying like a voiceovers are just used too much like fuck off like I honest, I think that's what it was. That's why I, that's why when it happened, that's how I felt about it. I was just like, oh, too many shows do this shit. Why would you do it? And then this happened, and I was like, okay, you're taking a piss of it. Now I get, understand why you did it. But I still think they didn't need to. Voice of variants. <laughs> well, voice of variants. And honestly, the ending was probably my favorite part. Oh, yeah, besides yeah. besides summer's breakdown, I, I really enjoyed that too. For Endings like, have been end great this season. <laughs> it generally, just, yeah, it just wraps up so well. Like it just makes you feel sorry for these giant bugs that are killing people, but they're only killing because people are trying to kill them. <laughs> so it's it's like an alternate, yeah, not alternate. It's another universe. Mm. Look how ridiculous they look! I love how they just make everything look so ridiculous. Look! Look at this on the on the whiteboard though. Protect at all costs the humans. Very similar brains, loud noises. Teach yeah. them. They they have good intentions. Teach them. Yeah, they they they're good bugs. Not a single bug has returned. <laughs> oh. Do they even speak Bugganese? They're just... <laughs> They're not even trying right there to create an alien language. They're just going to say something ridiculous. Bugganese. <laughs> it makes us scream... Uh, it's not like interdimensional travel strips us of our clothes and makes us screaming monsters. Or maybe it does. Possible to know. <laughs> and then... <laughs> it does. Look at him. He's just like... He's naked. My clothes. Where'd they go? One part lemon juice, four bay leaves, a pinch of sea salt, and his head's blown off. <laughs> and that's the episode. Oh, poor bug. Oh, he's just trying to save humanity. <laughs> With the cure to AIDS. <gasps> but I think that's also a thing. It's also a true thing about humans. Like, you know, in the, history, in the past, like humans, when they, face, when they face the unknown, the first thing they do is shoot at it. They don't bother asking questions. It's just the fear of something new. Well, there, yeah, yeah, there are people like that, right? Like you see something like oh, yeah. new and you just like step on the bug or you just like destroy it that if it threatens you. Oh, yeah. And I think a lot of the military in a lot of countries would still do that today. Like a lot of people still live by fear. Oh, but on the other hand, you see amazing people like the David Attenboroughs in the world who are just like mm -hmm. ultimately curious about a whole diverse array of species and plants. That's me. Yeah, man. Look how amazing is that the planet. So we what's live all on. these portals looking like vaginas? Man? Yes, you notice that. <laughs> this is a, this is a fire vagina. Fire mm, portal. All, all vaginas are fire, bro. <laughs> Actually, not all. I've had some pretty. I've had some non-fire pussies, but most are pretty fire. 
Yo, this is look. It reminds me when I was a kid. I played a lot of video games because I was, I was. Uh, how do I summarize my childhood? Um, I was kind of addicted to video games and uh, the 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 pleasure it gave me. And it just reminds me of Oblivion, uh, the the kind of the oh, portal. Yes. I love that game. Yeah, that's a very amazing game that just draws you in for hundreds of hours. And um, next thing you know, where'd you go? Game's done. Where did you go? Where did you be? I'm just looking for. So overall, this was like this was a decent episode. It was cool. It was decent, but I don't know the like the memorable moments were memorable, but I just don't think there was there were enough of them. I feel like when I think of the episodes from this season, like 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 you said, it's a good episode, but I don't think there's lots of rewatchability in it. I don't think it's a lot of rewatchability with like kind of this season. Like it's yeah. it's okay, it's decent. But it's decent. It's definitely probably at this rate one of the least. Like all in all, there's best. probably like three or four episodes so far we'll review that I would happily watch again and again. And how many? And this is what the seventh or eighth episode we've reviewed. This is the eighth one. Eighth, yeah. So probably half of them. Like Sorry, I've enjoyed. Seven, seven. Yeah. So I've enjoyed pretty much every episode or parts of every episode. But then there's been, probably been three of the seven we've reviewed, which I would be like, I, I don't wouldn't care if it didn't exist. You know. And so, yeah, it's kind of a product of the times. This season was the longest to come out. Um, they're trying new things. Yeah. <laughs> what was that? I was, just, I was just agreeing with you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, also, it's good you put your mic close to your mouth. I'm sure the people appreciate that because it's it was softer in the first episodes. Oh, yeah. You noticed? I, I noticed. I was, I was like... Shit. <laughs> no, you, you're good, man. Um, a comment here on Reddit that I saw, is it just me or the pacing of each episode this season feel rushed? Feels like they don't have enough time in the production to make right calls on the plot and how it flows. You think that? I don't know. I think maybe for one or two episodes it has felt rushed, but overall I don't think so. No, I think, I think they've had heaps of time. I think they're doing what they want to do. But I just think they're, because they've done a lot, I think because they probably felt they were in a box where if they kept doing very similar stuff, then they're not growing. A kind of Simpson syndrome. Like I feel like I felt like they, Yay. the writers felt like they had to do stuff different and evolve, and so they're trying a lot of new things, which I'm noticing. And some of it's working, and some of it isn't. And I think that's just generally what it is in the end. I think they're just going for just they're just trying different things out. I think we want to encourage that, right? Like keep trying, yes. keep experimenting. Yes, keep- I would rather be unhappy with them trying something new than being happy and watching something i've seen similar before like i i you know i'd rather them try something new like then see something a thousand times over right yeah same like an artist man like if fucking if an artist released a new album that was incredible but it was very 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 similar to the last album i'd be happy with it but i'd probably rather something which was average that was them trying something new although as they rashad like we just reviewed dropped a, dropped a great album doing kind of a similar what he does best very true but it like i happen. said man if isaiah released an album which is very different to that and was average i'd prefer that there you go like if i if, if i hadn't heard this album already because i'm attached to this shit now but you know you know what i mean you know what I'm I, I know what you're saying coca-cola this is not sponsored by coca-cola this is sponsored no by shit. jungle beats that's good man get that lower calorie all right yes jungle beats in the house you guys subscribe, hit notifications so you don't miss any of these videos. Look, we mostly review music, but we thought we'd experiment and do a Rick and Morty uh, episode by episode discussion review, and just to test the waters, see what y'all think, see what we how we go with it. And uh, yeah, we got two episodes left, yeah. and watch out for those future music reviews, man. That's what watch we do. Watch out for those future music reviews. Yeah, anything else? I'm Alexander Emmanuel Sandalas. All links below if you guys want to follow us. Follow the follow the JB. Yeah, follow us on Instagram, YouTube, other things. You dig me? You dig? Y'all fuck with me. Y'all fuck with me. Oh yeah, I don't think I've actually woken up today, bro. Well, what time do you want to wake up today? What? Probably when I, I go wake... to sleep. No, I wake up at eleven thirty today. That's good, man. That's like different from you. Yeah, I've actually been trying to get up. I don't know, it's kind of mixed lately. But I've also, because I've been meditating more, I've been trying to get up early and do that to help, you know, get my day going. <gasps> Speaking of that, I need to do some. And also, I've got to clean my room. It needs a vacuum. It needs a fucking Yo, vacuum. Jungle Beast fam, he's got a vacuum. <laughs> I'm so all over the place, bro. Holy shit. No, so good, L- man. Lockdown blues, homie.
Do you reckon if I could just tape my nose to my head so I can just always be like this? Big man? Yeah, man. Like, hey, welcome to Jungle Beat. <laughs> Aren't they great? <laughs> Today we're reviewing a new album. <laughs> hmm. Do you reckon I should do that? You got to add a snort to it too, like, <laughs> like, a, like so. a pig. Huh, welcome to... <laughs> I'm so hungry. <laughs> Let me eat you. <laughs> Anyways. Yo, this way you got to watch the end of the videos. <laughs> Straight you, up. You learn all types of shit about it. Hey, that's it. Jungle Beast. Get out of here. That's what it. are you doing here? See you later. What you Bye. Doing? What the fuck? Get the fuck out of here, you 